Hello and welcome to this episode of Danny's Tips. This week, I made for you some really cool Photoshop actions and LUTs that will transform your colors in your photos to a variety of orange teal and orange blue effects. They're very easy to use. The Photoshop actions are fully editable and non-destructive. You also get LUTs that you can use in other software such as Adobe Premiere, After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Affinity Photo, and more. The download link is in the video description below, but first, let me show you how they work. This download includes both LUTs and Photoshop actions. If you're using Photoshop, you definitely want to use the Photoshop actions over the LUTs because it's more flexible. You can load the action simply by double-clicking on the ATN file. Note that there are several ATN files for different versions of Photoshop. So check the file name and open the one that matches your version of Photoshop. Once you have them loaded, you can find them in the Actions panel. If you don't see this panel, you can open it by going to Window, Actions. Here in the Actions panel, you can find all of the effects. Select the Play All Effects section and then hit the Play button. This section will pre-render all of the effects and it will save you so much time compared to playing them one by one. By the way, if you're using Photoshop Elements, this feature is unfortunately unavailable and you'll have to play the actions one by one. But I did include a handy reference chart for you to use. Once the actions are done playing, you can pick an effect from the History panel. If you don't have the panel opened already, you can click Continue and it'll open it for you. The first thing that you'll notice is that the effects show up instantly and that's because they're all pre-rendered. Also, all of the layers are fully editable and non-destructive. It won't merge your layers or use any tricks to hide the techniques. You can go into your layers and find the exact formula. And I also encourage you to do this because I think it's a great learning experience. By the way, my favorite look is this Berlin look right here. I spent an entire day tweaking this effect, experimenting with it on a ton of photos, and really just trying to perfect the look. Unlike the standard orange and teal look where the colors are either orange or teal and nothing else, the Berlin look keeps a lot of the colors. It's also not like most typical vintage looks that are dull and faded. My goal was to create something that was the opposite. Something that still gives you that retro vintage feeling while using bright, vibrant colors. It works great for busy city photos like this one with lots of lights and colors. It also works great on sunset and sunrise photos with the warm highlights and cool shadows. For daytime photos like this one, which by the way was provided by an awesome photographer from Vancouver named Jeffrey Yoon. And thank you Jeff for the photos by the way. When you use the Berlin look in the daytime photos like this one, the teal will look unnatural. So the solution I came up with is to have a separate layer for the teals and you can fade it simply by changing the layer opacity. If you upgrade to the Pro version, you'll get a lot more features. First of all, if you upgrade to the Pro version, thank you so much for supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. In the Pro version, you'll get 11 additional looks. Just like with the free Photoshop actions, all of the layers are fully editable and non-destructive. The Pro version takes it a step further with a special version just for Photoshop CC. If you use any of my other products, you'll know that I really try to make use of all the features in Photoshop CC. The first feature is built-in error detection. So if your image is for example in the wrong color mode, instead of getting an error message, the actions will try to find the problem and fix it for you automatically. The second feature is automatic skin tone masking. So sometimes the look will give you undesirable skin tones. For example, this blue sign look here applies a very consistent color grading throughout the entire photo. But your client might not like that the skin tones are so pale and white. So what you can do is click on this layer mask here to turn it on and that will restore these skin tones. This mask is automatically created and because it uses Photoshop's face detection feature, it'll work best if there's a face in the photo for it to use as a reference. Right now, she looks very tanned in comparison to brightness of the photo. We can fix this by going to the Properties panel and adjusting the Feather setting which will blur the layer mask. And right now it already looks much better. You can also adjust the Density setting which is like adjusting the opacity. I'll set mine to around 80%. And now you can see that the photo still has the same color grading, but the skin tones look much more natural. The final feature you get in the Pro version are what I call Stackable LUTs. These stackable LUTs act like layers and you can combine them to adjust the opacity of the individual LUTs to get the look that you're going for. For example, with the Berlin look, it natively has this teal color to it which you might find too strong for some photos or videos. And now with stackable LUTs, you can customize it to your liking simply by adjusting the LUTs opacity. Here are some examples of what you can achieve with these Photoshop actions and LUTs. And once more, special thanks to Jeffrey for providing his photos for this video. 
If you want to check out some of his work, he's on Instagram under the username gjeffreyy. Speaking of Instagram, I also have an account now, so if you want to see what's behind the scenes, what I'm working on, and other stuff that you don't see on my YouTube channel, you can follow me and my Instagram username is Denny's Tips. If you need any help with this product, there's an instructions.html file, and inside there, you'll find a link where you can contact me directly. Hey, thanks for watching this video. In the past two weeks, we've gotten a lot more subscribers, close to double of what I had one or two months ago. So I just wanted to let you know that I did notice it. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your comments and your messages. So thank you so much for your support. I'll definitely be making more tutorials for you. So stay tuned. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you again next week.